I made this video to help ZPIN investors that have ZPT or Gala stored on a ledger and have missed the block height for the start of mainnet deadline. You will not need to do this until after September the 5th when the Z wallet is available. Now this video will also help anyone that needs to get their Neo private key off their ledger. I will show you two ways to do this. The first way is a lot faster and easier but is potentially less secure. The second way is more time consuming but it is almost bulletproof. So in the simple method, the first thing we do is we need to download the extraction tool, then we need to take the computer offline, extract the private key, and then import to Zwallet after September the 5th. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, I will leave all the links in the description for everything you need. First thing you need to do is to navigate to the actual post under the official Neo channel on Reddit, and this will just legitimize uh, the tool. You can see under the heading here, there's a link, so if you just right click on that, copy link address, then I'm going to create a new private window here, uh, you can do this in most browsers, I'm in Chrome, just come up to the right here on the three dots, and then click on new incognito window, uh, I'm also using a VPN for extra security, so I hide my IP address, so just right click, paste and go, okay, so this is the tool we need, so if we just right click and save as, and just save that to the desktop using the default name here. Okay, so now that's on our desktop, we'll just uh, minimize this, minimize this. Okay, so you can see it's on the desktop, so we're just going to double click that to open it, and you'll notice it's a local file now. So what we need to do is we need to actually um, disconnect from the internet, because we don't want to actually use this while we're connected. Okay, so I'm just going to right click on my uh, desktop and open up the network settings here. Now this will, if you're on Wi-Fi, just click on this. I'm on Ethernet. And then change adapter options. And I'm just going to right click and disable it. Okay, so that's disable the net. Now what I'm going to do is we need the phrase that we got when we first set up our ledger. Okay, now you will have this written down as a 24 word seed on a bit of paper, hopefully, or on a card. Uh, I've got it in a text file here. Now this is just a uh, ledger that I've got a spare one that I don't use, so I'm actually going to reset it after this video, if you're wondering. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to copy this, and then I'm going to paste in here, okay, and then find with, okay. Now, I know my address, this is actually it here, it's the top one, and here's the private key that you'll need to import after September the 5th into your Z wallet. Okay, now just to confirm, I'm going to just uh, come back online here, come back to Ethernet, Adapter Options, and I'm just going to enable this for a second here, and I am going to show you with the Neo, okay, I'll just put this here, so I've got the Neon Wallet open, okay, uh, and I'm just waiting for this to come online, let's have a look here. Okay, so I've hooked up my Nano S. I'm just going to click on here. Use Nano S. Okay, now if we go to receive, and if I just pull this to the side, you'll notice that the address here is the same one as this one. Okay, so just make sure you do double check that, um, just to ensure that you've put in your right seed. Okay, okay so that is the simple method. And now let's have a look at the more secure method. So the main difference between the simple method and the secure method is the fact that we will be resetting our ledger. Okay, now what this does is just creates all new unique private keys, okay, that have never been uh, exposed to anything. So the first step that we need to do is we need to send any assets that we have on our ledger to temporary wallets. So for example, if you hold any Bitcoin or any Ethereum or any Ethereum tokens or anything else apart from ZBT or Gala, you will need to send these to temporary wallets. Then, two, three, and four, which is download tool and take computer offline and extract the key is all the same as I showed you 
in the simple version, okay? And also importing your Z wallet after September the 5th, importing your private key to the Z wallet. Now, the other difference is that because we are going to reset our ledger, we need to create a new wallet inside the Z wallet, okay? So once we've imported our Gala and ZBT, we need to then create a new wallet, which has a new private key, and then we need to send the ZBT and Gala to the new wallet within the Z wallet, okay? I know that sounds a bit complex, but basically what we're doing is we are creating a new wallet inside Z wallet that has a new private key, because if we just import the Gala and ZBT into Z wallet, it's gonna be having the same private key as our old ledger, and we don't want that because that could be exposed, okay? So once that's sent, then we can reset our ledger, okay? I'll leave a link in the description for an, a Medium post that actually shows you how to do that, but it's very simple. And then once we've reset our ledger, then all we need to do is send all our other assets back to the ledger. All the assets that we sent out to our temporary wallets, we send them back to the ledger, okay? And then now everything is on new private keys, okay? So after September the 5th, you can import your ledger private key into the Z wallet. Now, like I said, the Z wallet uses the same private key you import. So to ensure we have no trace of our old private key from the ledger, we must create a new wallet in Z wallet. So what we do then is we then send our ZBT and Gala to the new wallet. Okay, so this gives us a new, unique private key that has no link to our ledger. All right, okay, and then we can just reset it and send all our uh, assets back to the new ledger. Okay, so I hope this helps. And don't forget that uh, Zpin is a great project and Galaxy is a lot of fun where you can actually mine for free and buy planets and uh, there's a lot of things coming up in, in the new update. And so if you, I'll leave a link in the description for the Galaxy and the Zpin Telegram. So make sure to come and say hi and I hope this video helped you out.